hi guys welcome back to the channel how you all doing hope you are doing great and in today's video i decided to share with you guys a remedy on how i used vaseline for a month straight to help grow my hair you see i used it for literally a month and i did research and i was like hmm it's not often people trying out vaseline in your hair and i said let me be among the first ones so i used vaseline in my hair for one month straight and let me tell you guys the results beautiful and for those that are new to my channel hi my name is zia and in my channel i talk about hair growth ideas glow up tips and many more to come so if that's what you're interested with so please consider subscribing down below to the channel and join the family and thank you for that consideration and without further ado let's get into the video so we're going to be doing the good old repetition which is measuring the four section both the front and the back of each section so for the measurement i had my trusty old brother as you all know sometimes how it is with siblings it ain't that easy they involves a lot of arguing a lot of pushing a lot of pulling so kindly subscribe because just recording this measurement part cost me a lot thank you And so guys without further ado let's get into the whole application of applying vaseline in my hair so when it comes to applying vaseline in your hair make sure you first of all section your hair i decided to section my hair into four sections so once you are done with each section make sure you apply it real good into the scalp you don't really have to focus that much on the hair strands but mostly focus on the scalp so that's how we can get the growth that we need So guys, I personally prefer to apply the Vaseline into the ends of my hair to prevent hair breakage. So far so good, I believe you guys can see the curl definition. I just decided to also apply it in the hair strands but I still focused on the scalp. For some reason, my hair was already feeling nice and moisturized and I was already loving the application process. So guys in this remedy we're actually going to be doing it for a whole month straight and I actually decided to wash my hair after every one week to prevent the build up of the Vaseline that you might get in the hair. Because isn't it obvious like you're applying Vaseline that's like applying grease and if you are to do this continuously for a month it will have blocked the hair pores and that's not really good you know. So I'd highly recommend you washing your hair weekly and keep doing this process so here's my day one you guys and let me give you a story time as you see all of the daily updates i did for you guys so here's the story time are you ready sit straight get your glass of water and <laughs> let's begin the story time so guys this is what happened during my daily application i noticed that my hair began getting thicker more density like i even had to change my way of doing the braids i, I started with two braids like two on each side and it reached a, a, a point whereby I, I felt like hey my hair is thick like these braids are getting short and all so i decided to go with three three braids each side so here's the funniest part one week down the drain when it came to washing my hair you guys so i could have I, I i had first of all i had decided to record each and every process but for the purpose of this video i don't want it to be that long i just decided to do a voiceover showing you guys my daily uh update on when i applied the vaseline in my hair so this is the story this is the juice this is the tea you guys <laughs> when one week was done like when one week was done i did a big mistake I was like, how do you get rid of Vaseline from your hair? I didn't have any knowledge on how to get rid of Vaseline in your hair. So, me and my smartness, like, pretending to be so smart and all. I didn't even bother doing a research and everything. Oh, first of all, look guys, this once one week is done, you cannot, you'll notice that your hair gets so dirty and you just need to wash your hair out. So, 
make sure you wash your hair don't keep doing this for like four weeks straight it's not really good for you and as for me i decided to like today i apply vaseline tomorrow i don't apply it today i like i skip a day i skip a day i skip a day look at that dad look at that build up Ugh, no so this is my hair in week one before washing it so let me continue the story I decided to drench my hair in coconut oil. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I ever did. I had drenched my hair in coconut oil. When I tell you drenched, I tell I mean in drenched, like fully drenched with coconut oil. And I let it sit in my hair for like two hours straight. Then another big mistake I did, I went ahead and started washing. I added shampoo and there was no lather. I have I wasn't even getting any any form like when I tried washing nothing was happening I had I really had a hard time washing my hair you guys and then I tried using conditioner nothing like the first the Vaseline was just there looking at me it's there my hair was matted oh my god I was like what have I done what big mistake have I done <laughs> so I went took warm water dipped my hair in the warm water and it stopped the mattiness in my hair so that was a help and i just said eh, as long as my scalp is clean let me keep up with the application yeah so i continued the second week as well did my application seven days were done hair was dirty so i said last time i applied coconut oil and i don't want to repeat the same mistake so this time i said <laughs> How about I go and wash my hair? I apply coconut oil, then I wash. I just to try washing directly. That's that section I did. You get me? Stay with me here. Yeah? Are you picturing what I'm? I'm saying. <laughs> it was a mess. It was a mess. It was a mess. So I I went section out my hair in like six sections. Yeah, as you can see here, I was already done with the Vaseline containers. So i did the first section applied coconut oil went direct to the shampoo nothing oh my god i even it, I, I made matters worse everything was worse like huh? it wasn't getting out i did the same thing again dipped my hair in warm water and we continued and don't don't think that when you dip your hair in warm water it really helps it doesn't help at all i wasn't it didn't it wasn't the solution to everything it was even making it worse like my hair still had Vaseline in it and I still continued applying Vaseline. For some reason, my scalp was clean, but my hair strands were not. They were having Vaseline in there, baby. You get? So, yeah. Until it reached the third week where I finally found the solution. Oh, my God. I don't know. For some reason, I saw in TikTok, a TikTok video popped up and it was like, how to get rid of Vaseline from your hair? Start with conditioner. Don't. <laughs> you just need to. It's so easy. You just need to apply conditioner in your hair then put shampoo and it gets out imagine just like that all my problems could have been solved all the build up vaseline that i had in my hair could have been solved but look at here how long my hair was starting to get you can notice how my braids are getting longer and longer like vaseline has really helped me out in terms of growth it's just that the patience i didn't have you know i didn't have that patient with the greasiness and everything but so far i loved the process and i finally found a better way on how to get rid of the vaseline in my hair and i'm going to update you guys like once all these daily updates are done you'll get my whole explanation on everything and if you have made it so far listening to my little story time i've never done a story time it's my first time so thank you please consider subscribing down below and let's get into the continuation of this video and by the way i have so many story times in my mind in my head it's just that i'm like ah oh, i should focus on hair growth but i'm going to try story times like you people need to know my life so i'll consider including you guys into the reality world of zia remy yeah thank you so much for listening to my story time so this is now week two also before i went and did another my my <laughs> the worst mistake i ever did look at the growth look at the density i have compared to the first week immaculate even you can notice that my curl patterns are more defined because my hair was just full of the Vaseline and everything, so I was still trusting the process.
So guys, I am now finally done with my three weeks application of Vaseline and I only have one week left. And guess what guys, I have finally found the best way to get rid of Vaseline in your hair. I didn't believe it, but it worked. I was literally like in shock. I was like, what? I can finally get rid of Vaseline in my hair. I legit got rid of all of the Vaseline. It's like I have never applied Vaseline in my hair. Ah, I've always wanted that to happen. So this is how you do it. You take your conditioner. I use this company. I use Vatica. I'm a Vatica conditioner fan. You put. You, you need a separate bottle for this. So I had this full bottle plus another empty bottle of this conditioner. So you just add in some few amount of conditioner in that bottle. Then now you add it with warm water. Fill it up with warm water. Make sure you do that. Then you give it a good shake. This, this is the step one you're supposed to do. Do not go directly into applying, I don't know, coconut oil, then you use shampoo. No, no, no. No, this is the best way. Now, you section your hair into like four sections. You decide if it's four or six. I did six sections because I wasn't trusting it at first. So start with the first section, apply the conditioner, apply, let me tell you something, when you're applying the conditioner, you'll notice the Vaseline is pouring out, it's coming out with the conditioner, so that was a good sign. Apply the conditioner, you apply, you apply, then you go to rinse off. Once you rinse it off, of course, your hair will be like matted, it will be sticky. So this is where the, the magic happens. Take shampoo, put some few drops, and then start applying the shampoo. You apply you apply and while you're applying let me tell you remember when i told you that when i was using shampoo in my hair i wasn't getting any form but guys let me tell you something once i started applying the shampoo oh my god i started having form like the form started forming it was getting rid of all the firstly i was just scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and once i rinsed it out there you have it no vaseline in my hair it was all gone completely gone imagine guys i was still in shock so to, I, I decided to apply again another round of condition just to be sure you know i did the same procedure applied conditioner again this time i let it sit then once i let it sit for like five minutes i went to the next section like that that's how i did it i, I did that in all the sections so when five minutes were done on the first section i will then go wash it off then put shampoo again and that's just like that i was done then i just detangled my hair and let it air dry and that's how I got rid of Vaseline in my hair. I'm going to do a separate video in case you haven't gotten me right. Once you see this video, I'm going to upload a video on how to get rid of Vaseline in your hair. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the update of that coming video. So I'm now down to my last week, which is the fourth week of applying Vaseline in my hair. And so far so good, I'm loving the process. Now that I can finally get rid of Vaseline in my hair and I'm starting to see growth, so it's a win-win. Yeah, so let's get on to the fourth week of applying Vaseline and I'm down to three containers of Vaseline. Oh my God. The way I've invested in Vaseline, they should, advise, they should sponsor me at this point. I have bought three. I've finished three containers. I don't know it's container. Let me call it container. Three containers of Vaseline, like three in one month. It's the 240 ml. Have you ever done that? Nobody uses Vaseline like that. Even you use it for applying the body. It doesn't finish that fast. Hmm. Damn, it's about to get real. It's about to get real. So let's get on to our last week of applying Vaseline. Then we get to measuring our hair. So guys this is now the last day as you can see after patiently waiting with this whole vaseline journey you can notice a difference in my braids it's kind of thick compared to how i was starting this challenge initially that's how you know i have gotten growth in my hair like look how thin it was before compared to how it is now nice and thick and now we're finally done with the one month challenge and it's now time for the most exciting part to measure our hair and without further ado let's go 
so guys this is how my hair is looking like after one month of using vaseline in my hair as you can notice how much length i've gotten compared to the first four sections i had beginning this challenge yeah we'll get into the measuring process whereby we're going to do the same thing that we always do divide my hair into four sections and each section has two sections so a b a b that's how you'll get to understand what i'm trying to say so guys for this measuring part don't get confused on how i had measured my hair i had actually totally recorded different from how i had recorded before like when i was starting this challenge so go according to the way i labeled it i know it's not in order it's 2a 1a but trust me i've measured according to how i had measured um previously when i was starting this vaseline challenge And as we can all see, I'm having a positive growth in each section I am measuring. And there you have it. Two inches, one inches plus growth is all we ah. It's just the best growth I have ever gotten so far. Oh my God. I literally used Vaseline for one month. And let me tell you guys, I have used about three containers. Three containers. we are going to use this container again. I mean, it's literally a very good quality container so when you come and see a video and i tell you you remember those vaseline containers i told you about well we're back to them so don't throw away this container it's really it's really, it's really quite efficient for the purposes that we're going to use it in the future so so far so good did i love the process how was the process well i won't lie to you guys when i tell you this was a greasy process like i would wake up in the morning my pillow has vaseline the greasy vaseline on on the pillow then it's on my face i would wake up shiny like my face was literally shiny and i don't like i don't like that sticky feeling of the vaseline but yeah so i had to be patient with it and then also when it comes to going to school i had to make sure because <laughs> when i was combing my hair i could literally see vaseline coming out through my comb i was like what well, hopefully when i go to school like when i do my hairstyles and all no one sees the particles of vaseline but good thing once i comb out my hair and brush it it blends it's like applying hair gel so it's kind of a natural hair gel you get will i still use vaseline again when my answer is definitely yes but but only for backup like if my hair oil is done and i don't have time to go to the shop to buy another one i just use my vaseline yeah it, it's a really good backup hair oil you, hair product you can use yeah so i will definitely continue using vaseline after this video i want to finish the remaining vaseline I don't know i'll decide maybe i'll finish it maybe i'll leave it for backup because i still have a lot yeah i really loved the journey and i'm so happy and it's just as much as it's a messy remedy it's still a very nice remedy like when during week one i i was like eh, kind of skeptical about it then during week two i could notice that my hair like when i braided my hair it was getting thick normally i have kind of slim braids whenever i do my hair braids and yeah i know i have density hair but my hair has gained more density and i'm in love i'm literally in love i have fallen in love with this whole remedy and i highly recommend you using vaseline in your hair about getting rid of the vaseline in your hair like during wash day i'm going to upload a video about that soon yeah so so far so good i have loved the journey and i can't wait to do more hair growth stuff in the future and if you're new to my channel kindly consider subscribing you've made it this far to the video why not just consider eh get your girl to 10k subs i mean why not why not just be generous and kindly subscribe to my channel thank you for that consideration so guys i'll see you in my next coming videos and always remember that good things take time and trust the process bye bye guys take care